Biochemistry, the branch of science that explores the chemical processes used by living organisms. Biochemistry offers a window into the many scientific questions that seek to explain the complexity of life. This branch of science allows us to understand how life proceeds from birth to death, explains the unique interactions between organisms and pathogens, and connects genetic information to its manifested function. Biochemistry is a marvel of human discovery and the livelihood of many faithful scientists. For dental students, however, the relationship is much different. Biochemistry is a mountain that looms between the student and the degree. Today, I want to offer you a tunnel that will lead you safely through this mountain and take you one step closer to that shiny title of doctor. Hello everyone, my name is Steven. I am a first year dental student and I just finished my first semester of dental school courses the most difficult being biochemistry. So today I wanna to give you a look into why biochemistry is probably the toughest course that you take in your first semester of dental school and some things that you can do in order to ace it at the end of the semester. I hope this video is helpful to you and if it is, please let me know in the comments and remember to subscribe to my channel and like the video for more awesome content in the future. Let's get right into the video. So why is biochemistry so difficult as a course? Biochemistry challenges us to learn the detailed chemical processes by which life acquires and utilizes energy. Naturally, the conditions in which organisms acquire this energy is constantly changing, and these changes give us even more information to be responsible for. The majority of the information within biochemistry covers the enzymes that forward the reactions in the glucose metabolism pathway, and there are many of them. These enzymes are both numerous and similar in naming, so simply memorizing terms is not a viable route to success in biochemistry. We are tasked with truly learning these processes and understanding how they work in order to perform well on our exams. So biochemistry is a difficult process, but right now I wanna talk about how you can manage the amount of information and then go into some resources that might help you out. The amount of information you will come across while you're studying biochemistry is immense, so staying organized is extremely important. And this is where you need to decide what type of learner you are. There are many types of learners out there, but the three I want to mention and highlight are visual, auditory, and scribble. Our visual learners learn what they see, auditory learners learn what they hear, and scribble learners learn what they can write down. So me, I am a classic visual learner. If I can see a process in physical space and understand how its moving parts interconnect, I'm probably going to be able to learn it. So why does this discussion of what type of learner you are matter? Well, it matters because it's going to dictate how you approach studying biochemistry. If you are a visual learner like me, you're gonna greatly benefit from the visual aids that are available in your biochemistry textbook, as well as a bunch of them that are available online. So these visual aids are going to show you the processes of the reactions within biochemistry, and you're going to see enzymes represented by shapes, and the movement of electrons represented by arrows. It makes grasping point A to point B a lot easier, which is extremely important in this subject. If you're an auditory learner, you will do well to pay close attention to your lecturer, your professor, as well as any other lectures that you use in your studying time. Perhaps being able to hear somebody explain point A to point B to point C is gonna help you learn them and you're gonna be able to reproduce them on a test. If you are a scribble learner, you're gonna be doing one thing to prepare for tests, and that is making study guides. Of course, when you make these study guides, you're gonna be including all of the same information that the visual and auditory learners will be studying, but maybe writing it all down once, twice, three times, however many times it takes, is gonna help you internalize and strengthen your knowledge of this information. And you may find that you need to use multiple styles of learning to tackle this biochemistry giant, and that's absolutely okay. Sometimes you just need to use multiple tools in the tool shed and one is not enough. Okay, so that's the discussion of the types of learners. Now I wanna talk about some resources that will help you with biochemistry outside of your professor in your school. Our teachers are usually pretty great, especially at the dental school or medical school level. These people understand a lot and they're going to be massive, massive and helpful resources for you. But sometimes you need that extra opinion or that second voice in your head to internalize material. And if this is the case, in my opinion, your best friend is going Going to be this very website, YouTube. YouTube is an amazing supplemental help in most all of the sciences and biochemistry is no exception to that rule. You're going to find thousands of videos explaining the unique and difficult processes that you'll find in your science courses. 
So definitely go to YouTube to check out some biochemistry videos. My absolute favorite man on YouTube for biochemistry is AK Lectures, and this guy is a complete beast. Something about the way he explains biochemical processes just connects with me. He's very direct and just doesn't include any fluff in his language and it usually connects with me immediately and I'm able to internalize the information that he's explaining. So if you ever struggle with absolutely any topic in biochemistry, check out my man's videos and he probably has something for you that will help you get through it. AK Lectures is my favorite YouTuber when it comes to biochemistry, but he's certainly not the only one. So in the description, I've left a link to a page that includes a bunch of videos of just random biochemical processes or topics that you might encounter in your time studying it. And these are other creators that made videos that help me internalize things like the LAC operon or the Cas9 endonuclease system. Just all of these topics that on first glance, I was like, I can't do this. So check that out in the description if you're interested in a little bit of supplemental help. There is absolutely no shame in outsourcing some of your knowledge on these topics. It's very difficult to cover everything that we're going to learn in biochemistry. And there's a lot of really talented people on this website making sort of tutorial or explanation videos on the topics. And you would be a fool not to use them if you're struggling with anything. So yeah, that's pretty much the three major things that I wanted to talk about in this video. Like I said, I just finished up with my second go around of biochemistry. I took it in undergrad and then just took it again in dental school. And it is one of the more difficult subjects that I've ever tried to tackle, but it's extremely doable if you stay organized and you use some outside sources to help you grasp all this information. If you're interested in hearing about any of the other topics that we cover in dental school, let me know down in the comments and I will definitely get to those topics. Dental school is tough, science in general is tough, but if we have all these extra resources and we continue to keep the lines of communication open, on this wonderful and crazy thing that we call the internet. We will all succeed, I promise. But I hope each and every one of you stay with me and you can do so, of course, by subscribing to this YouTube channel, liking this video, and just kind of letting me know what you think in the comments. Also go over to my Instagram and check that out. I'm trying to kind of build that up as well. Guys, that's it for me. Don't ever be scared of biochemistry. You will get through it, I promise. If I could, you absolutely can. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. Thanks as always.